So, and this is where, I, you know, where, where, where Steve uh, was showing his brilliance. Um, now, around this time, uh, Next is kind of not working out so well. And, uh, and I've got a, a, a good relationship with Steve, but, and, and all of us do, but we didn't want him there full time. All right, he, he was really good part time. Because <laughs> yeah. he faced outwards and, and he let us, excuse me, I, I keep raining. Uh, <laughs> Just put on the table, we'll be Things fine. Are, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, we're out trying to figure out how to make this movie. And uh, we were a group, though, that had been through failures together. So we'd all experienced that. And it was really difficult to figure this out. And we made a lot of misestimates, and the first versions didn't work very well. Um, but we, as we got closer, um, it became apparent that we were onto something really big. And I have to say, John Lasseter believed right from the minute that this was going to be gigantic. But from Disney's point of view, it was a boutique film. So they didn't put any consumer products behind it because they didn't see it being anything. Uh, but as we got into the last year, it was now apparent it was, it was big. And so Steve said, OK, now we are, we are going to revolutionize this industry. Um, but we're also in a position where, because we've got the experience here, not only do we have the first film out, we will probably have the second film out before anybody else can get into this. Um, but the deal that we had with Disney, frankly, was not a very good deal. We got like <clears throat> three to five percent of the profit or something like that. So it was not, not all very, that. Not very good. Not very good. So, <clears throat> so Steve called John and me together and he said, OK, <clears throat> our deal lasts for three pictures. And at the end, we're on our own. Michael Eisner will realize as soon as this film is successful that he will have just created his biggest nightmare. So he will not want the contract to end. So when the film comes out, he will renegotiate. And when we renegotiate, um, I want 50% of the profits. But if we get 50% of the profits, that means we have to put up 50% of the money. <coughs> So in order for us to put up 50% of the money, we have to have the money in the bank. Therefore, we should go public. So John and I are saying, whoa, 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 whoa. This is a little early here. <laughs> Let's prove our worth first. But, but Steve being Steve had a compelling way about him. Um, so we put on the road show. Uh, we went out and showed pieces of the movie. Uh, but what he, what, what he told people as we went on the road show so I, I went out, with our CFO went with us, Lawrence Levy, uh, and Steve. And um, as we went out, the argument was that the, the company will go public one week after the movie opens. So you will see that we're changing the industry. And so that's the prep. So the movie comes out, it opens huge, it gets incredible reviews, and then the next week we go public. And it was the biggest IPO of the year. It was bigger than Netscape. Incredible. It was an incredible thing.